Hello everybody and welcome to another Honkai Star Rail video. Guys, I am sorry about the lack of uploads in the past few days. Uh, it's just that Pal World has completely overtaken my life. Um, you know, I finally, I finally managed to get a break from the game. Um, it's just been keeping me so long. It's 1.30 a.m. I uh, figured I need to get this video out. I need to talk about this. I've been watching these characters, uh, the, the drip marketing trickle in within the past few days. I'm really excited for the, I mean, we're obviously going to go over everything that we learn from um, the event episode or the, um, the special program or whatever, where they talk about next patch 2.0. But this video we're going to be talking about 2.1 characters um i'm also going to be doing a video pretty soon where i talk about uh the things i'd like to see in honkai star rail in uh 2.0 through to uh to 2.6 uh, which would be the last patch of 2.0 as long as they keep the same theme um yeah so let's let's get into it um first of all first character we have is Acheron. Acheron looks pretty cool. I'm not too sure about her. I think her design looks really, really, really similar to... She honestly is wearing a mix of Serval, Zila, and Silverwolf's clothing. She kind of just looks like all three of them combined um, with like a tattoo. I'm not exactly sure how I feel about that on the design. Obviously, she does look pretty cool. I like the bones. I like the kind of dark theme that her that her look has. Um, I didn't play Genshin, so I don't know what like the Aeon stuff is, but like whatever. I also didn't play Honkai Star Rail, uh, Honkai Impact, but. Hey, I mean, maybe I'm going to learn. Um, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm just not too sure about the design of this character. I mean, the sword is obviously based, and the umbrella is pretty based. I hope she does something with that. Uh, she's Lightning Nihility. So what I've been doing here is I've been putting... This is every character in the game, uh, their path and type, and to see, you know, where things match up. Um... And this is what I use to whenever I'm making these videos where I talk about upcoming characters to kind of see where they're going to fit into the game and kind of get a better idea just to have it all out here. And Acheron is a little bit, we don't know. Um, I'm not a big fan that we have another character who is a, you know, five star, you know, five star lightning nihility when we already have Kafka. Um, it's okay because I, I, I've heard through the grapevine, they're not going to be doing the same things, not even close. Um, but that's, it still very much interests me. Um, it's, I don't know, like, I mean, we had an opening in Ice, Fire, and Physical uh, for a five-star Nihility unit, and instead, we've chosen Lightning. I know it's probably just whatever fits their character's design the most, but uh, at the end of the day, they are in charge of, you know, they're the ones writing the story. They're the ones making the characters. They could fill in these gaps if they wanted to, and luckily, the next two characters after Acheron that we're going to go over coming in 2.1 are going to be a part of that, but it's still looking kind of rough. So, obviously, a big dub for the Lightning Element. We'll go over that in the Elements tier list. Also, a big dub in uh, the Imaginary one. Massive dub in the Imaginary one. We're going to be going over that um, next. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't like... I, I figured if any character would get a if any element uh path combo would get a second five star i kind of hope it would be in replace of yan ching 
to have a better ice hunt character because I feel like he's just kind of the worst one in the game. Uh, maybe for Clara because or, or uh, Himiko. Um, not Kafka, not Kafka. I don't know. It seems a bit nitpicky, even be, like just because they're they don't do the same things. But it's still just my opinion that it just feels weird that instead of filling a gap in the roster, we are just adding another, we're just putting another one in randomly to a spot that's been filled. Um, that's just my thoughts on it. Um, yeah, honestly, I don't know if I'm going to be pulling for this character. I know, a lot, I mean, okay, so I might receive like a little bit of, you know, dislike. For this for like these opinions I, I i know like a lot of people really love this character all right a lot of people are very much enjoying this character um i just i just don't feel it i just don't feel it from the design okay i feel like we've gotten this design in three other places um obviously not one to one but like you know we've gotten the similar theme in three other characters in the game. Two, because I feel like Silver Wolf's probably the most out there one. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, Zila is are definitely like, you know, the most close, in my opinion. But anyway, let's go to Adventuring. Adventuring is a very, 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 very exciting character. I watched Tectone's video where he talked about these three um, today at work. Uh, he's, he's higher on Acheron than he is on Adventuring. I think Adventuring could be insane. He looks so badass. His theme clearly, like, just looking around at him, so crazy good. I mean, I know hers is cool, Acheron's is cool with the bones and everything, and the, the red flowers, but... I think him with the cards and the the poker chips, everything, just you know, the really classy love seat. This guy looks badass. The dress shoes, the, the everything, the everything. This guy looks crazy cool. All right, big dub for the dudes here. Big dub for the dudes. Um, if I ever decide to do. An updated version of the ladies versus gentlemen tier list. Um, that little fun thing that we have. But this guy actually fills a hole in the roster. Um, and this is where I get really excited. I'm really excited for this. Imaginary already, in my opinion, um, takes the cake for the second best um, element in the game. I think it probably takes the cake for first if adventuring is even moderately as close as Fushuan. Now, while I was watching Tectone's video, it was talked about that um, this guy might be a preservation character who deals damage through shielding. That is very interesting. Kind of makes me think of March 7th. You put it on. Uh, if, if he puts shields on people and then they get hit or they attack and he then like follow ups and jumps into their attack if they have a shield on them that would be crazy if that's the case if yeah that would be crazy if that's the case actually i kind of hope that's what it is um i don't know what the character you know actually does but clearly this is very 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 good um mono mono imaginary was already decent Unfortunately, you had to use Yukong um, as your support for true mono imaginary. Um, but, you know, Luocha, if you didn't pull for Luocha, you have Adventuring now, so you actually have a sustainer if you didn't have Luocha before uh, for your mono imaginary team. It's looking good. And this guy is very much looking good. Um, yeah, I'm, I just, I just get overwhelmingly happy when gaps in the roster get filled okay because i feel like once this is complete then we can kind of start moving into the territory of reimagining 
other, you know, the, reimagining the combos where it's like Himiko is a, or like Kafka, right? Is a lightning nihility five star, but Akron is also a lightning nihility five star, but does something completely different. So it fills that gap for a different build type, which I know is pretty much the case, but it just doesn't feel as good whenever like the box already had a name in it and I'm now putting another name in it. Um, especially when they're both five stars. It's okay if you're gonna like replace a four star with a five star, I think that's perfectly fine. And you obviously have a lot of room to do that in a lot of different places in the game. Um, but we decided to yeah, do this. And that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. I know I sound a little butthurt about that, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, yeah. Uh, so people who do not pull on Luocha who want to make Mono Imaginary, those enjoyers are winning. Those are, they are winning. And I'm winning too. I have Fushuan. I have Luocha. This guy feels like this guy makes me feel like i really want him and i don't know why i don't know why because i feel like maybe once i get him if he's really strong maybe i just don't use fushuan or luocha again like one of those two just goes in the back um which is kind of why i hope they add in the future maybe a piece of content where you need three teams um i don't know how demanding that is it would have to be like the pinnacle of end game content. Um, like if they ever go to like stage 15 of MOC, let's say instead of needing two teams, you need three teams because there's three different battles in uh, 13, 14, and 15. That would be really cool. I think they could, they, they could just easily do that. Um, but yeah. Really cool, really cool, really cool. So Gallagher, I actually really like this guy's theme might be one of the coolest four stars in my opinion literally just from looking at the picture all right i mean like we don't have to, like come on come on guys come on bro anyway um yeah let's put this guy in he is a fire abundance character he does fill a gap um is it two l's Gala Gahur. Okay, I actually did it right. So once again, fire gets the four star. Come on, guys. Fire is already struggling so bad in terms of character quality. Just another four star. It's Himiko and Topaz, which are seen as like two of like the most mid five stars in the game. Like, oh my god. It's rough. It's really rough out here, but hey, another character we finally uh, is at fire. Actually, the first one. Okay, never mind. We have a character for each path in quantum, and now fire is the second path to finally complete all of the paths. Um, fire, yeah, fire is the second element to finally have all of you know a character in each path. Uh, obviously, very good for mono teams. The problem specifically with fire is that they're not five stars in quantum you can have zila silver wolf sparkle and fushuan and that's actually a crazy fucking team right that could actually be an insane team and qq is really so strong that you could just basically have her instead of zila if you want or even Zhu yi in that case depending um if you put a lot of resources into her uh but fire it's like what are we doing here like we got gallagher as your healer, Himiko, Topaz, and Asta. That's the best one I can build. It's the best one I can build. And it has two four stars, which is obviously not horrible. A Gallagher could just end up releasing as the best four star in the game. We don't know that. He'd have to do insane things to ever, ever beat a character like. Um, Ting Yun, or you know, really any of the Harmony characters are just insane. But I mean, there's a good possibility he could be better than Lynx, and then he's at least the best four star healer in the game, third best healer in the game, uh, behind Luocha and Huohua. Um, yeah, 
I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know what to expect from these characters. Really at all. So I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Uh, we actually we filled two gaps in the roster. Um, in Akron, we're just gonna have to see what happens. All right. Now let's just kind of look at, you know, what we should hopefully. This is what should, we should be hoping for in the future. I think as long as we're just filling gaps, right? Uh, I think it's unlikely we get three more preservation characters, three more preservations uh, on top of adventuring in uh, the two patches of Honkai Star Rail. And by that, I mean like 2.0 to 2.6. I'd find it very crazy if we got four preservation characters so i actually don't think we're gonna it's gonna be till 3.0 until we fill every gap um at least as a whole but also you know mostly because of preservation i think there's a likelihood we could get an ice abundance character um maybe a wind ear edition an imaginary ear edition they did just add uh pure fiction in this past patch um in the, in the current patch right now well, that is really good for ear edition characters. So if they continue supporting that mode and, and I mean, if they continue making that mode, um, more ear edition focused, uh, we could easily see a wind and imaginary ear edition characters being added in, uh, and Okay. That's what I would hope for. I would hope to complete ear edition, maybe get a hunt lightning. That would complete lightning. Um, get, yeah, uh, an ice abundance, and just hopefully one more preservation characters. Uh, yeah, one more preservation character, whether it be fire, lightning, or wind. That would be nice. Um, if not, that would be really unfortunate. I think after between two point zero and two point six. I think the only the only slots should be open are preservation, right? Because it's not hard to make a hunt lightning, not hard to make a erudition winter imaginary, not hard to make one abundance character for the rest of the patch and well, besides Gallagher, and make it ice, right? I don't think that's bad. Plus mono ice would be crazy if that happened, right? Assuming you don't have Japard. You can't really do mono ice because you have no sustain. Um, so mono ice, unfortunately, is taking L's right now. But you could easily do Jing Liu, Ruan Mei, um, the Ice Abundance five star. Hopefully that comes out, and uh, a Pela. That would be a that would be a sick team. A sick team. Uh, you can already do it if you have Jabard, of course. But yeah. Um, I think, I think that's really all I wanted to talk about. Um, you know, I'm kind of just playing the same record over and over again. I want to see gaps filled in the roster of the game. Uh, and this patch is very good. It filled two gaps. It filled two gaps. So it doesn't really matter how I feel about a second Nihility Lightning five star. We filled two gaps. And that is definitely better than nothing. Definitely better than nothing. Unfortunately, Fire got the stiff arm. Uh, Fire got the, the hard wiener. Again, by getting the four star. Just like with Gwenaifen. Um, But hey, that's just how it goes. That's just how it goes. Hopefully, one of the next five stars we see is fire. I think it's a really cool element. I think the characters in it are pretty cool. It just seems very underutilized right now. Um, I'm sure Gallagher will have some sort of, like, his theme will be cauterization of your wounds. Like, he will attack one of your allies to heal them or something. I honestly don't know. But I think that would actually be really cool because it just makes sense fire healer um and obviously if you looked at leaks i probably look really dumb because i don't know if this is actually you know i'm just this is what i hope the characters do 
I could just be completely wrong. And all the information is one search away right now. I could just look at leaks, but I'm not going. I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not going to spoil it for myself. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys who don't want to be spoiled either. So thank you for watching the video. If you like it, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And just a moment, just a moment. I do, I, I do watch these sometimes. Okay, no, no. Sometimes there's like this channel that just somehow releases what all of their ability animations and attack animations are and everything. He doesn't have it up. And honestly, that's kind of good. Anyway, peace. Love you guys. See you in the next video.